you guys? Marty Schwartz here with GuitarJams.com. I'm going to teach you this song. You're going to need a couple of bar chords. And also, just let you guys know, I have a bunch of really cool free apps like a tuner. Uh, I've got a new metronome. A bunch of totally free, totally cool stuff. You can click the link below to check that out. But let's get to the lesson. Here we go. So anyway, uh, the first chord is an A major chord. That's kind of the key of the song. It goes, does some kind of fancy chords around the key, but but A is our our root. So we go like this. Basically, each measure or each kind of like measurement of time is going to be uh, counted in twelve. So it's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, or one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. So we start with that A chord. One, two, three, four, five, six, one, two. So we're going to go to an E major chord for the same amount of time. So we got A to E. Here comes our first bar chord. Don't get scared. Just kidding. Uh, second fret barred and then the E minor looking shape. So it's called an F sharp minor. Same amount of time on this one. So all the chords so far share the same amount of counts. A to E, F sharp minor to D. Then we're gonna go B minor seven, which is just like a B minor. You can do a regular B minor as well, but if you take your pinky off, you get B minor seven to E, ring finger off seven. So that's called E seven. So you got one, two, three, four, five, six, 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 wrong. And it does that whole sequence twice. One more time, real quick. A, E, F sharp minor, D. Now twice as fast. B minor seven, E seven. Second time, E seven. Then. So on the second time, on when it repeats, you could add your pinky to that A chord or take your middle finger off and it gives you that A7 and we're going to go to the emotional bridge, the plane, if you will. So it's D. To F7 and you're going to play F7 like this. You're going to play a bar chord on the first fret, and this looks like an E shape. And if you take your pinky off, it's uh, an F7. Or you could also add your pinky right if you want this that bluesy sound to be a little brighter. So we've got D, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Then two measures of A. You can add that seven again. Then two measures of B7. And it's the famous chord that Paul McCartney had to travel on a bus to another town to find the guy that knew it. <laughs> so it was before YouTube. Um, but that was when he was like probably junior high, I think. So he got, you know, two. One, uh, oops, two, one, two, and then two on the high E there with your pinky if you can. And we're gonna do two measures, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Then we're gonna do a little something weird, but basically the easiest thing to do is to just play an E7 chord.
So let's see here. So from the A7, here we go right into the bridge. So forth and so on. So there's one fancy E7 augmented chord in there, and it's that James Bond kind of chord that is a tension chord that resolves right back to the root chord. And it's it's a, the opening chord of the song too. So it's called a E7 sharp five, or you could call it E augmented. The easiest way to play it is take your E major chord, and if you can with your index finger, just flatten, get the, we want that first fret on the B string. And don't hit the high E because you're if you cover it right there you could do it it would probably work but we just it sounds better without it all right that was the lesson hope you had fun uh, remember I have some free apps a free chromatic tuner a bunch of other cool stuff click the link below to check it out Otherwise, we'll see you in another lesson real soon. Take care.